Welcome to Smalltalk Daily for Friday, March 12th, 2010. This morning I thought I'd go through UUID generation, something that you may need in various interoperability purposes in Smalltalk, and we have an implementation of this. It's something that goes a while back. DCE was the first place this popped up, so you can tell how far back that goes. But in any case, we have an implementation of this standard, and to find it, what you need to do is go into the Parcel Manager, and once you've got that up, you need to go over here to the Directories tab, because it's in Preview. So you need to scroll down towards the bottom, and down towards the bottom you'll find preview and under preview you'll find parcels. In parcels you'll find UUID. Just right click and load it. And there's a little bit of documentation here in the comment but I'll close that for a moment. And I've got some code here that shows what's supported. There are some things that are not. There's an NCS standard. We don't support that. There are a couple of versions besides 1 and 4. We don't support those yet. But if you want to get these you just ask for the default UUID generator and do a print it or a do it and you'll get back a string, a unique identifier and same thing goes for version 1 and the same thing goes for version 4. These are just different ways of getting these based on what kind of algorithm you plan on using. If you just want to use it in kind of a streaming fashion, get the next one and the next one and the next one, you send UUID generator next. This will default to type 4 but it's a nice convenient way of treating it like a stream so that if you're putting something on a stream or if you're building up an URL because you built some kind of server where you're using unique IDs in the URL and you've probably seen lots of media sites that have weird looking things like this in the URL. You can tell what they're using now and this is how you get those. So just take a quick look at the code. We'll open a browser, scroll all the way towards the bottom where the U's are and here's our system. You have UID generator and you can see there's DCE. If you scroll down a bit you can see there are a couple others like NCS which is not supported yet. Next is just the streaming interface which will use version 4. That's how this ends up going there. And if you go down, you can see version 1, and then you can see version 2, which is not supported, and version 4, which is supported. So this is a system you can use. It's in preview, so it's not fully supported yet. But if you need to use this, you can use it to generate unique IDs. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with small talk.